Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Ease Us To Do Backup Sync feature. Let's understand what is sync first. Basically, when you want to move the data from one location to another location or multiple location without any human intervention for backup purpose or ease of work, this is particularly used for backup purpose or to make your work easier by ensuring you always have the latest version of your file wherever you need them. So let's understand by drawing here. So let's say you have one computer here and uh, you are into the LAN network. So let's say this is your switch and then this is another laptop. So this could be your Wi-Fi also. Don't get mistaken here. So I'm working on something here. Let's say I'm a content creator and uh, I'm working on thumbnail. So I have created one thumbnail here. Somebody working on this computer, he wants to access this thumbnail. What are the other, so what are the solution we have? Either you should have a pen drive, you copy from pen drive and give it to him or you should have this uh, file share, Windows file share between these computers. You can do with that, right? That is also a solution. You have some kind of online kind of a stuff like WhatsApp, web WhatsApp. We upload it to the web WhatsApp. From here, same you open the web WhatsApp here and then you can download it. But this is not the purpose of the sync here. The sync should be something like when I, when I have, let's say, when I have a folder called sync here, let's say I have created a folder, folder called sync here and sync folder here also. Let's say I have created a sync folder here. Also. So whenever I create some file, and save it to the sync folder, it should automatically, it should automatically sync the file from this computer to this folder. And when we sync the folder, create any file and save it to this folder, this should automatically come back to the sync folder. That should be the sync. But you may debate, hey, why you are selling that? I can do achieve the same thing by sharing the folder. Yes, you are right. You are. This is the debatable. But think about this thing. This is the file. This is your system where you have shared the folder. One folder you have shared here. The IP address is 192x.x.x. .x .x. From this PC, you are accessing this folder. But what about if the system goes down for some reason? Your all your folder, is, sync folder is here only which you have shared over the network. But what if it goes down? You cannot access this folder, right? Because the system is down. But in case of sync, you have identical data. Identical data means, let's say you have a, a file one, file two, file three, file four. All your file one, two, three, four will be in this folder. One, two, three, and four. The moment you create a file number file five here, it will sync back to this folder and you will have immediately you will have a folder five here. So this is about syncing from one computer to another computer the other solution what could be the uh, what could be the other solution you can sync on your hard drive let's say this is your hard drive just for the backup purpose whatever data whatever data you are working it from this uh, folder it will sync back to your external hard drive this is also a good solution right you can carry it with you okay imagine the situation that you have a one laptop here and another laptop here and this is across the city let's say you are a content creator and you have given the ta your task to somebody else who is uh, working on your project or maybe you have had someone who is working on a different city, different location, or different office. So how the data sync work here? So you, so the other, uh, there could, there are mark, in market, there are uh, multiple solutions where you can take this backup. But is us to do also have a backup called data sync. So you can, you can sync this. Uh, this folder, let's say this is a folder via cloud. The same folder can be sync here. The process which I have explained here, same, but that will be through the internet. Is it clear? So how many ways we can sync the data? First, through pen drive. Other is through LAN. It could be Wi-Fi or the wire Wi-Fi or it could be the through the internet. Uh, let's go and see how practically it's going to work here. So you can see here, this is my one of my operating system and this is the second one with beautiful flowers. Now, what we have to do is we'll go here and go to this computer go to my documents here and let's share one folder here we'll go to the document and create a share a folder here so this folder will be like a sync folder sync folder and we have to share this so how do we share it give the permission specific people and uh, you can select everyone i can just select this owner add and share it just turn it for the private network and it's done now let's check the let now let's check the ip address so we have to go to cmd ip config sorry ip con and the ip address of system is 86 6.133. Now let's go back to the other system. CMD IP config and this is 128. Now we have to this system we have to open this easiest to do. And if you want to do this, if you want to know the how to take the installation, how if you want to know how to do the installation, how to take the backup, you can go ahead and watch my video on my channel. All the videos are there. So as you can see, this is the menu, this main menu of this window, and we have to go to let's delete this one. Delete. And we have you can see here in the below we have a new sync here. Click a new sync here and give this file name. So let's say file sync 01. This is the name of my sync and it says that select your 
path select means path means your source file so you can see this is my this would be my forcing folder on my desktop so select this one select this desktop on the desktop select this folder forcing click on the ok so this is selected C user on a desktop and forcing now it's time to select the path well let's select the path here so it's asking about select the network so can you just click on the network here let's say whether it's able to search or not if not then i'll show you share you how to do that so what was the ip address so ip address was 192.168.186.133 right this was the ip 86.13 okay you can see here you have to add this uh, IP here and then in asking for the username and password. So let's add this username. This is and we have to select the folder for share. Go to desktop and have to select the folder for sync. So you can see here I have selected this folder. It is uh, the source is for sync on this desktop and the destination would be on the other desktop. It is 86.13 and click on the sync now now there is nothing in this file so it's not going to sync i mean it's not going to sync anything here you can see this uh, sync button here so let's wait it says that you can see here synchronizing okay so now it says let's put one folder any file here so before we go that let me show you this some options here so we have to select the sync and click on the option when you go back to the option it says that when you want to sync you want to sync one time like what time you want to execute so it depends on your timing you can go ahead and execute this file or you want to select it daily daily what time you want to sync it or what interval you want to let's say every 30 minutes you want to sync it or every one hour you want to sync it so you have to do this like you have to click on the weekly weekly which date you want to select it monthly or the real time sync real time is any file which you uh, create a file or folder which you create it will sync that okay so let's select the real time here and click on the okay so you have to wait for some time so that uh, it will check okay now let's go ahead and create we have said since we have selected the real time go ahead and create one file here so let's say i have created one image here click on the image come back okay there is a file change here so this can execute anytime let's go back to our other windows folder nothing here let's create one more file here let's say this is a rich document we have created and uh, edit something here this is for testing and save it close okay you can see here this picked up this uh, syncing and now it's syncing the file so once it's once the sync complete we'll go back to our other desktop and see whether the sync has come up or not oh cool you can see this sync is completed and it says this is successfully now let's go back to our other the other system okay this is our other system let's refresh this folder oh i think we have selected the wrong folder so it should be here sorry for that we have selected the folder we have created the folder in a document but we have given the part for sync but that's not that's not a thing here right you can see here the folder has come here you can see this is for the testing so this is how you can go ahead and enable your sync feature on your windows so we have successfully sync our data from one computer to another computer right so this is how you can go ahead and do that test it and if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video